This is Straight Outta Gabriola, and I'm your host, Ken Kerr. Gabriel and Enid Helderson is turning 100 years old in May 2019. And as is tradition in Canada, she can expect a, a letter from the Queen and the Premier of BC and the Prime Minister of Canada. And there's also a big community birthday party that's being planned here. And you know, another tradition is 100's Day at Gabriola School's kindergarten class. You see, the kids mark 100 days of school, roughly the halfway point in the school year. And the celebration always is with all kinds of learning opportunities and the context around understanding how much really is 100. So, of course, why not have a person turning 100 come to class? When Enid was five years old, that's kindergarten age, it would have been 1924. Let's take a quick look back at what was happening back then. Now these scratchy old 78 RPM shellac records you're hearing. Sounds like actually someone is frying up a pan of bacon in the background. This is It Had to Be You by Isham Jones and his orchestra featuring Marion Harris. It was one of the top songs of the year for mail order sheet music and record purchase to play on your gramophone player if you had one. You wouldn't be hearing it on the radio just yet because popular broadcast radio shows and and radios as an appliance in the household were not common for another seven or eight years. And the first household electrical appliances like toasters and irons were rare and expensive. Population of Canada was 9 million and the world population was 1.9 billion. A few more notches on the timeline. Astronomer Edwin Hubble announces that the spiral nebula Andromeda is in fact a galaxy, and so the world first learns that the Milky Way is not all there is in the universe. The Royal Canadian Air Force was founded in the coming of age of aeroplanes. In fact, the first circumnavigation of the world was completed in 1924 by a team of United States Air Service aviators stationed at meeting points around the globe to take the biplane on the next leg of the journey. And that journey around the world took 175 days. The free-spirited flapper era was in full swing with waltzes, the foxtrot, and the charleston burning up the dance halls on Saturday nights. It was the dawn of the Jazz Age and of Art Deco. In the movie theaters, well, Douglas Fairbanks is The Thief of Baghdad, one of the greatest silent films of all time. The Empire State Building had not even been thought of yet, let alone built until six years later in 1930. And of course, King Kong didn't come along until after that. And still four years away, was Walt Disney toiling away in his studio. He didn't create Steamboat Willie starring that new crazy cartoon character Mickey Mouse until 1928. International Women's Day was celebrated in Canada for the first time and intrepid mountaineers Phyllis Munday and Annette Buck became the first women to reach the summit of Mount Robson, highest peak in the Canadian Rockies. And speaking of remarkable women... Here she is, Enid, at 99.9 years old, and for the first time attending kindergarten class. I grew up in Saskatchewan. Do you know where that is? No. That, well, that's a yeah. province in the middle of Canada, the food centre, sort of. Yeah, yeah, that's where all my mums. Yes, a lot of people moved there in, in 1905. That's a long time ago, isn't it? <coughs> And uh, I lived in a, a, a village, and I also lived on a farm. So I had lots of experiences. Do you children like to read? Yeah. yeah. Well, down the road from where I lived was, was a very nice lady who had 
the, our, our house, our, our village was so small, but we didn't have a library or anything like that. We had uh, lots of books, and I was a little girl, just like you, and I went to visit her, and she said to me, Enid, you can take any books you like from my library, and you can read them. I, I used to go to her place, and I'd pick up books, and I had four brothers, so I, I used to come home with five books because they liked reading too. And I also thought, if I only take one book, they're going to read all the books and I'm going to sit there with nothing. We used to all exchange the books, go back, and another five books. So we did a lot of reading when we were children because often we sort of isolated on the farm and uh, very... Uh, very nice to be able to read, and I know that you like to read here too. And I always think how lucky you are to have such a lovely library here in the village, I guess you call it. When I was a little girl, you, you might see a car maybe once in three months or something, because the cars weren't really made very by that time. They came after. So uh, we had horses, and we had carriages. And we had, in the winter time, we had sleighs. We'd go out, and the horses would be trotting in front of us, and we'd be driving. We'd be, we'd be in the sleigh, and it was fun, lots of fun. But that's how we got around, always just with horses, until the cars came in. And when we tried to, we didn't have phones. And when they came in, at the side, you had to ring it up, and then you'd have to hold a great big thing to your ear, and you'd have to speak into a speaker. And you practically shouted. But those phones were very good because when, when people were in trouble, the farms were far apart, and there'd be a big, long ring on the phone. And then everybody'd pick up their receivers, they called them, and they'd listen and they'd say, Farmer Jones has a fire, and everybody'd rush to it as fast as they could to try to help. Or, they'd, or if somebody was sick, they go in and they take off their crops. You know what that is? They take cut the, cut the grain, and then they thresh it. And then they make bread out of it. Now, before the students launch into their rapid fire news conference style questions, here's a bit more about Enid. She's the 12th of 13 children, and after growing up in Saskatchewan and completing her high school, she then trained as a secretary, going on to work for the Royal Canadian Air Force at the newly established flight school in Calgary. World War II was on the immediate horizon. Then came marriage and raising four daughters in Regina, where she continued her career as a legal secretary, while never really straying far from the local stage and radio productions, to feed her love and talent for singing and performing. Retiring from the workforce in her early 60s, she trained and went on to teach yoga at Canada's first and oldest yoga centre, the Yasodhara Ashram, in the East Kootenays of British Columbia. She taught there until she was in her 80s before moving to Gabriola to be with her daughter Lynette and family. Now, along with the kids in the class, that's Lynette you will hear, and of course, the kindergarten teacher, Mrs. Gurr. Full disclosure, now you know how I got the news scoop for this uh, episode. Callum has had his hand up and he's waiting patiently to ask you a question. Callum? Oh, good. Would you like to ask a question? Callum, what do you want to ask? Um, have you ever still been learning? Have you still been learning? Do you oh. still learn when you're almost 100 years old? Do you know you learn every day? You learn something every day. And I have talking books, so I listen to them and I learn from them. And I, I go to a discussion group and I learn there. So every day you learn. You have to keep alert and you have to keep your mind working. That old brain of yours has to keep on working. And Leave has a question. Okay. Leave. It's over Leave. here. Yes, Leave. Are you one of the early settlers? Uh, Are you one of the early settlers? Uh, my dad was. My dad was. In 1905, he came to Canada and they settled in Saskatchewan. And uh, Jacob has a question. Okay, Jacob. Do you like to play? Do you like to play? Yes. Absolutely. <laughs> Every day I like to play. <laughs> if anyone wants to play with me, I'll play with them. <laughs> so one, of, one of Grandma Enid's favorite ways of playing is she sings. And she sings in a choir here on the island. 
and she often sings when she's knitting or uh, <laughs> moving around. She loves music. Singing is one of her favorite ways to play. Sophie has her hand up. What is it like almost being a hundred years old? Um, Good question. It's lovely. I, 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 I'm so, because I'm well, I'm healthy and I'm strong and, and this old brain of mine is still working. So I'm very happy. And I think that that's the answer. Being a hundred years old, if you're well, if you're healthy, you're happy. Okay. Bishop has a question. Bishop, go ahead. Uh, do you like snow? Do you like snow? Yes, I do very much. But I would like it if it go away now. <laughs> had it long enough here, haven't we? And Saskatchewan it was very cold. So we bundle up and we go out and we play. We throw snowballs, we build a snowman. It was fun. How high did the snow get? Because my grandmother always used to say it got above their heads in the Do you know how high it got? Do you know do you, do you know when your power lines when they're way up there? Well one year the snow was that high and people we could even walk along the top of it, it got so hard. All the way up to the power line. It's very high. Daniel has a question. Do you like music? Oh, I love music. It, yeah. it makes me feel so happy when I hear music. Maybe great grandma Enid used to sing when she was your age and oh, always in the school choirs. They always liked her to, to sing special songs. So she's been involved in music and singing since she was a little girl. Yeah. Carlito says his hand up. How like, much years have you been here? How much years have you been here? A uh, hundred, <laughs> practically. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm going around the sun a hundredth time on this old world. <laughs> uh, Logan, would you like to ask a question? Your uh, hand do is you up? go bathing? Do you go bathing, swimming? Well, not right now. <laughs> well, not very often. And then summer? In the summertime, oh, uh, it's, it's it's difficult it's because easy. of uh, Grandma's eyesight to walk on the rocks into the water, and it's also very cold. When you become older, sometimes the cold isn't so good for your body. <laughs> yeah. That's true. Luca I used to go swimming. Uh, I used to go swimming when I was when I was your age. Sure, Luca. When I was well, when you were little, what did could you make snow forts and stuff like that? When you yes. were yes, yes. We had little battles back and forth, to throw snowballs at each other and have fun that way. And make, did you, have you ever, ever made snow angels in the snow? Yeah. No. Yeah, well, we did that. Do that. Yeah, that's part of it. <laughs> uh, Eli. Well, um, were you shy when you were a kid? Was I shy? Um, sometimes. But when I had to stand up and sing, I, I lost my shyness. And then I'd sing. Riker. Uh, yes, dear. Uh, can you jump well? Could you jump well? Can you? No, jump well. Rope. Oh, jump rope, because we're learning to do Oh, I used to skip rope, yes. Yip, 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 yip. <laughs> Did it take you a long time? Because it's frustrating. We are having a hard time with it. Oh, it's, it's, so it's so easy for me. I, I can tell and you. Me I, too. I, I, Not too. Me too. I, could, uh -oh. I, couldn't, I, I couldn't jump today. I'd fall down. <laughs> I wouldn't be able to jump today. I didn't but, but when I was a little kid, sure I did. And I could, <laughs> we played hopscotch. But... One of the secrets that great grandma Enid, why she stays so healthy, is every day she does some exercise. So she goes for walks, and she has a little puppy dog that she plays with, <laughs> and she uh, stands up and breathes very well. And she's so, so it's important to keep busy, yes. even though she doesn't skip rope anymore. No. <laughs> can, I, can I ask one question? When you were five, did you? Was there kindergarten? Did you get to go to kindergarten? No, I didn't. We 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 had to start in grade one. And what do you remember about grade one? I can remember. I really liked the teachers. 
and they were very good teachers. And you know, you kind of, you kind of, uh, what can I say? You almost fall in love with your teacher sometimes, don't you? You just, you just think she's so wonderful. And fall in love with and, yeah. Kind of love when you like when you when you love everybody. Uh, that that kind of love. <laughs> now I get it. Yeah, yeah. Yes. 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 Just liking everybody. When you think your teacher's just great and you yes. look forward to going to school because she yes. has such a great teacher, just like you guys. Yeah. Hands up if you have another question you want to ask. Callum. Um, uh, how did you get allowed to snow it all the way up to the power line? When you oh, well, at, at that time, most everybody stayed at home, you know. People didn't move too fast. We were, we were, we were sort of hemmed in. You could just open your door and walk through. No, it's no again your door. Oh. Well, they're trying to they're trying to picture in their minds how you got from your house up to the power lines when the snow was that high. No, no, no. Um, and like you could just dig out. Well, you could just get dig a, it. We could, could we could still dig. walk outside. There was, it was because the snow piled up. But it didn't stop us from moving around. Yeah? yeah? Did you have to dig the snow out of it? Oh, sure. We used to dig ourselves out of snow. Absolutely. Oh, Jacob's got his hand up. He's got another question. Jacob. Where are you born? Where were you Where were you born? Where were you born? I was born in a small town called Jansen, Saskatchewan. It's a small town. And village. She was born at the house where her mama and daddy and brothers lived. Yes. Yeah. We did, we did, so she we wasn't didn't in have hospitals. Hospital. Mm -hmm. didn't have hospital. Sophie, have you ever went to an old hotel? Have you ever been to a hotel? Oh, yes. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> I, I think she's traveled. When, you, when you travel around the... I've done a lot of traveling, so... Great Grandma Enid, she's been to China and Egypt and Australia and... All over New Europe Zealand and New Zealand and Australia. So she's, she's yeah, yeah. been in many hotels in many countries. Yeah. So <laughs> seems so, so you went uh, all around the world. Yeah. Many, well, many parts. Many many places in the world. Did you fall in if you climbed up to the top of the place where the snow is on top? If you were to climb up to the very top of the power lines in the snow, <laughs> would you, would you fall in? Would you fall in? Okay, wait, I need to hear somebody else's questions. Yeah. 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 She fell in, she was successful at climbing out again, because yeah. here she is. That's good. I stayed in the house. Wesley, do you have a question? Um, did you ever go to the Amazon River? Have you ever been to the Amazon River? No, I haven't. Logan's got his hand up waiting to ask a question. Okay. It's good to you like. What foods do you like? Oh, almost everything. <laughs> Vegetables, I eat some meat, and I eat milk. I, I drink milk and butter, and I, I can almost eat. I'm not allergic to anything. Do you Aren't eat I bread? Like Pardon? Do you eat bread? Absolutely. Yeah. Daniel's hand is up again. And I like butter and jam on it sometimes. How about too. juice? Um, juice. Do you drink juice? juice? Yes. Orange juice, apple juice. Okay, Daniel, you um, want to ask a question? Did you ever see a bear? Did I ever see a bear? Yeah. Yes, I did. Uh, yes. What? Was it a brown bear or a black bear? Or what? Or um, a pole? A black bear, I guess. At the time, great grandma Enid lived in a part of British Columbia called the Kootenays by the Kootenay Lake there. And every spring and summer and fall, the bears would come. And in the fall, they loved to sit and eat all the apples from the trees. So she saw a lot of bears. <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> um, I think Ad Adeline has not had a 
chance. Addie oh. hasn't had a chance to ask a question, so okay. she's ready to ask. Isn't it fun being almost a hundred? Is it fun to be almost a hundred? Especially when I can come and visit such a lovely children. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's lots of fun. Do I look like I'm having a good time? Yeah. Are you having a good time? Good. Dash has, uh, has his hand up. How many seasons did How many seasons did you have? How many seasons did you have? Uh, four seasons every year. What? <laughs> so she's had almost four hundred seasons. to do something special for your birthday. Maybe sing a song oh, for you or something. Do you like lovely. you like music? Listen, I've got an idea. Would you sing a song for me now? What song were you guys singing when you were just leaving music today? Something about sunshine. It started like, you are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy. I had a question for you because I was thinking about what you said that, about always learning. Yes. And so now all this this 99 times around the sun, do you have big lessons that you have taken with you that you say these are the golden truths that I've well, learned about life? Well, one of them is this too shall pass. No matter how difficult it is at the time, if you just hang in there, it'll pass eventually. You have to sometimes work at it, but it'll pass. And I've also learned that um, perhaps to wait a while if you hear something that, that angers you or something mm-hmm. and try to deal with it in a, in a kindly fashion, you know, instead of uh, getting angry, just to take your time and, and let it pass, and then you can think clearly, you know. But sometimes it takes a long time to learn that. <laughs> you know. <laughs> yeah, even more importantly now because everyone is so quick. Yes. On media yes. Yes. to yes. that it is visceral yes. all the time. No yes. one takes time to just stop and think. Yeah. yeah. And 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 immediately somebody says something to you that angers you and you back. Uh, and it doesn't help. Mm-hmm. You know, if you if you can think of things as it's their problem if they come at you with a anger and so on. And then maybe, perhaps you can talk it over. <laughs> that, that sort of thing. Yeah. And We're all human. We all make mistakes, and that's okay. Uh, we learn by our mistakes often, <laughs> more than we do by when everything is always so smooth. What about your attitude to life in general? Well, my attitude is I, I, I really try to... I see my cup half full rather than half empty, you know. And uh, I've been very fortunate, I think. And I wake up every morning, and I'm I'm just happy to be here still, you know. But if but I'm also ready to go any time. It's uh, it doesn't scare me or anything. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, uh, just to be kind and, and and to wait. Don't be too hasty about things, you know. Yeah, and I enjoy life. And I know that. And I always remember that we're all human, <laughs> so, and we're here to learn. Mm-hmm. Weren't those children adorable? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> thanks to Enid and the kindergarten class at Gabriella School. And thank you for listening. Until next time, bye for now.